Okay, chat, buckle up, because this one is going to be crazy. Black holes. We know some things about them, but the stuff we don't know vastly outweighs the stuff we do know. One thing is for certain, though. They're pretty cool. So here's all the stuff we do know about black holes. Now, before we start, keep in mind that all of this stuff is theoretical, and since black holes are in space, we can't actually study them, because, you know, they're in space. Let's start off with the formation of these black holes. Black holes are formed from a process called stellar collapse, which is basically just an official name for when a star dies. After this, it goes through what's called a supernova, but sometimes it tweaks out and collapses in on itself because that star will have had a gravitational pull. That was a bit of a mouthful. It basically just means that when a star dies, it implodes. This gravitational pull will act on the collapsed star that now has no structure and pull all of the mass into the center where it becomes super dense. Think about it like this. If you had a glass sphere filled with sand and a magical vacuum at the center, the glass sphere could only withstand the force of that vacuum for a certain amount of time, because after so long, it would just suck up the sand. But when the force of this magical vacuum becomes too strong and sucks up all the sand, the glass sphere would shatter and all of the glass would get sucked into the middle. Think of the sand as the power source that sustains a star's life. When this power source runs out, everything blows up, and when that happens, the star will supernova and blow all of its outer mass into space. There's still one thing missing, though. What happens to the core of the star? Well, if the collapsing core of this massive star has a mass that's three times that of the sun, it will continue collapsing past the point where nuclear forces can resist gravity. This is called the Chandra Shaker limit, and this limit has some levels to it. Depending on the mass of the star that's getting blown up, it will either turn into a neutron star or a black hole. This collapse forms a singularity, or in other words, a point of infinite density at the center of a black hole. The event horizon marks the boundary beyond which nothing can escape from the black hole's gravitational pull, which forms around the singularity. Black holes have several unique properties to them, one of the most notable being their gravitational pull which is so strong that it warps space-time, causing time dilation and other effects predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity. At this point, you're probably wondering, but what even is a singularity or an event horizon, Unc? Just let me cook for a sec. And by cook, I mean talking about the structure of a black hole. Black holes consist of three main parts, the singularity, the event horizon, and the ergosphere. The singularity is the infinitely dense core where the mass of the collapsed star is concentrated, like I just explained. The event horizon is the boundary beyond which nothing can escape the black hole's gravitational pull. Not you, a rocket ship, not even one of those ankle demons running around the cereal aisle at Walmart is fast or strong enough to escape the event horizon. This is because black holes even suck in light, giving them their name. The speed you need to go to escape in a black hole is faster than the universal speed limit, or the speed of light. In other words, you are not him. The black hole would solo you. The third and final part is the ergosphere, and it's the region just outside the event horizon where the black hole's rotation drags space-time along with it. It's basically just the realm outside where the black hole starts to suck you in, but isn't entirely eating you yet. Now that we've covered the structure of a black hole, let me go over some different types of black holes. There are primarily three different types. Stellar black holes, which form from the collapse of massive stars, supermassive black holes, which are found at the center of most galaxies, and intermediate black holes, which are believed to be the result of when multiple smaller black holes merge. Yeah, they can do that. For the intermediate ones, just imagine two water droplets absorbing each other and turning into one big water droplet. While that is a stupidly simplified explanation, you get the point, probably. Now, before you go keyboard warrior on me in the comments saying, this shit is tripping, brah. I seen that picture of the black hole come out a while ago. What is up with that, little bro? Shh. Let me explain how we did that. And by we, I mean people thousands of times smarter than me. Observing black holes directly is challenging because they don't emit light themselves. However, their presence and properties can be inferred through various indirect means, including their gravitational effects on surrounding matter and light. This photo of a black hole was taken by the Event Horizon Telescope a global network of radio telescopes specifically designed to observe black holes. On April 10, 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration unveiled the first ever direct image of a black hole. The image captured the supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy Messier 87, which is located about 55 million light years from Earth. Now, just like me, you probably saw this picture back then and thought it was lame, which is why I personally prefer the black hole from the Fortnite Chapter 2 event. 
As dumb as that sounds, they did a pretty good job depicting what actually happens when a black hole forms. While all of this information is super interesting, there are still many unanswered questions about black holes, such as what happens beyond the event horizon, the nature of the singularity, how they interact with quantum mechanics, and a million other things. Obviously, I couldn't cover every little detail about black holes in this video, because I'm not a quantum time-traveling brainiac astronomer, but in reality, I'm just a dude who likes science, so be sure to drop a like and subscribe.